All right, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have Jordan, the lead instructor at in the Indian Wells Golf Resort here. We are talking about my grip. I got someone to finally come on. He's gonna talk about why my grip works with my swing, why my swing works with my grip, the benefits, and how to fix my pull. So this is Jordan. He's gonna talk about the mechanics, the yep. technicals, and talk a little bit more about the actual grip of my strong ass grip. Yeah, very, very strong, but that's a good <laughs> thing. You'll see a lot more good players have strong grips than weak grips. Now, number one thing when I'm trying to help somebody out is if it works and it's efficient and they can repeat it every single time, we don't need to mess with it. So no, we don't. that's why your grip right now, that's your personalized grip. That's the date that you brought. We got to dance with the date that you brought. So I like that. that's the first thing that I'd say. If you kind of set up towards me this way, if you threw your grip on extremely neutral here and pressed up against my hand, there's not a whole lot of force being applied to my hand. But if you put your extremely strong grip on there, now strong grip doesn't necessarily only just reference the club face, this is why you hit it far too. So if you press up against my hand with the back of that lead hand, you can feel how much more feel how much more power there was on that one yeah, rather yeah. than the other one was very, very weak for a yeah, neutral yeah, yeah. grip. Now, second to that, go ahead and set up to a ball. I'm gonna do a little grip test on you to start off, so I don't want you to let go of the club and I don't want you to let me pull you off the spot that you're standing. So, make your arms parallel to the ground. We're gonna hinge our wrists up. Now we're gonna simulate the golf swing. So this would be back swing, this would be forward swing. Then we go up, now point all everything forward. Okay, so that's what the grip actually looks like in your hands. So the biggest thing where if we want to hit oh, straight that's close. shots, yeah. So it's wait, very, that's what it looks like. That's when centrifugal force grabs hold of these arms and stretches them out. That's what it looks like. So during impact, when you want to hit straight shots, we need to have a whole lot of shaft lean this direction to hit straight shots, which is what you do. You make yeah. good divots. You get ball first, ground second, and then we see that straight club face. Second. With it being like that, if you feel any sort of throw during your swing, that ball is going left of left. It's going as far left as yeah, you can possibly done. imagine. <laughs> so what I was talking to you about earlier today in our clinic, in our lesson, is you want to feel from the top of the swing like you're pulling the grip off of the club and you're continuing to pull and continuing to rotate your body so that face looks like this every single time up in front of you rather than ever being close. When, like at the, the transition phase? I'd say right to stop, start your transition. Okay. As the lower body's kind of grasping the ground and starting to turn, you're feeling that butt of the club being pulled as hard as you can. You don't want to feel any sort of throw in your golf swing or else it's for sure going to go left. Now, that doesn't mean you're holding on the whole time. There's still a release when you're holding on or for when you're pulling it down. But I think that's gonna be a good key swing thought for you. And another reason why it's great to have this strong grip is because pulling is a lot more of a stable motion than throwing, okay? Yeah, I don't like swing thoughts. So like if I only have like one or two swing thoughts, oh, like I just step up and hit it, right? It's, like I think it's like nice to have no swing thoughts. It's paralysis by analysis if you have too many swing thoughts. So that's where I like, you know, setting up neutral. You have that nice strong grip on there and just from there you're just pulling that club as far as you can until you get to that finished product. No throw during this swing, just only pull. That's a good shot. Go in the hole. <laughs> Okay, so that, I mean, great divot, like good divot. Great divot. Looks great. It, I mean, I have to get used to the feel, right? Definitely. But it feels like, I don't know, I, I felt like I caught a lot of ball first. That might be great, though. That's great. You, but it's a different feel. Definitely. We want ball first, ground second, but, you know, you're with your grip being so strong on there, it will produce a little bit more of an in-to-out swing path. And that just encourages us to hit behind the golf ball a little bit more. Where now, if you can feel a little bit more pull and a little more rotate, you're going to be covering the ball and just hit, you know, frozen ropes like you did right there. Yeah, that one dead straight. Dead straight. That one dead straight. But now my thing is, a lot of people online always think, like, how can you hit a fade? How can you slice it with a strong grip? What are the mechanics on, like, physically, if my, you show me my face, it's like this. Mm -hmm. How on earth does the ball go left to right if it's like this? So it would is be... Is it because of, like, my rotation or just... I would be, you're so used to trying to rotate a ton to keep that face from looking like that. 
your body's just outrunning everything else and the arms are lagging behind so it's a little too bit of a lag. much. Yeah. Okay. I'd say you're almost getting stuck. That's why you can probably on the same day either slice off the map yeah, or no. you can hit a dead pull hook on the exact yeah. same day. Yeah. It's because it's getting trapped behind you here and then it's either pulling too much and it goes dead right. Does my strong grip work with my swing, right? Because like oh. I, I like I've I, I've shown people if I grip the club normally, right? Oh, you'll slice. It's it a even slice worse. to the right. Even no, worse. I can't even make contact yeah. with it. I can show you. It's disgusting. Yeah. So how when I get this is it because of the rotate or like why am I slicing it with a normal grip? Pattern once again with you having the face like this when centrifugal force grabs hold of you, well. Once again, if you were just to neutralize this grip, your natural muscle memory already wants to do this to make the face open and then a it's little a, just bit. A slice. And it's just gonna exaggerate your problem every single time. That's why I don't mind a really, really strong club face, because then we have to rotate our body, we have to get our hands forward every single time. Now if you overdo it, yeah, we could potentially yeah, yeah. hit it out to the right. But I think it's a good thing that you have that strong grip. You'll start to hit less slices out there if you can start craft out just a little bit more rather than you know, your divot on that last shot. It is ever so slightly left of our target out yeah, there. Well, I don't care about that. Yeah, so you know that'd be the <laughs> I only don't need thing those is... little I don't need those little technical stuff. I mean it was a great divot, yeah. it was a good swing. It felt weird because I actually want to hit another one, but it felt weird because I've never had that kind of impact before. Yeah. Just because I don't have that sensation of pulling. Definitely. Right? So I haven't, like, like it felt weird because it was just like so much ball first, but mm -hmm. that's what you want. Well, and you can be aggressive too. That's the other great thing about your grip is you have to be aggressive on every single swing. If you try to tame it down a little bit too much, that club head that's moving 110 it's, miles yeah. an hour, it's going to pass your hands so and it's So for me to change... Left. Like if I had to go through a grip change, I had to, I would have to change everything about my swing, because everything kind of matches up with my strong grip. You'd ch have to change everything about your swing, and it'd take you a year and a half to be able to strike the ball consistently. I'm not even talking about take it out. No, to the literally golf not course. slice it. I mean, just to hit balls on the range consistently, no, it'd it's, take you a year. It's and gross. A half. It's gross with a normal grip. Yeah. It's gross with a normal grip. All right, let's try it again. So aggressive on as far as our rotation which you always do you're going to feel the pull of that grip down towards the golf ball not towards your target but towards the golf ball you're just going to pull that grip right off the shaft right at the golf ball finish see i i like that ball flight though i know it's a little bit of a cut but that's like a miss but those are the great things about having a strong grip is it forces you to rotate it forces you to commit to the shot every single yeah, time Yeah, because if you do something bad you're gonna have that hook pull correct like every time i pull a shot or like it's one of those duck hooks i immediately say like i was too quick with my arms mm -hmm. like yeah. i didn't rotate enough or i didn't you know i was too fast well and then if we weakened your grip we'd have to use even more arms and even more hands right now your hands are already on is already square or slightly closed so all you're trying to do is keep it there with your body you don't have to do anything with your hands and arms with a grip that strong yeah no you're right and i think because i have a really straight lead arm mm -hmm. and i feel like that's the point of it is like i just have to rotate well and that's where the pull comes from is yeah. that lead arm it's pulling it and it's rotating and then the club face is like this yep so once again you know that grip test that i did if your hands ever line up like that, they always need to be forward so that face is starting ever so slightly to the right and you have that little draw. So do I, this is another question, is like, should I address with the forward press at, like, or do I not even need that? Because I get to that position at impact. You want to get there during your swing. If you get there during your pre-shot routine or during your setup, then we're going to start to see them potentially come back from the right. We want that face to be Close. No, like I told you, as soon as, when I get to the ball, I'm not thinking of anything, right? So I don't want to have that thought of like, okay, what's my club face looking like right now? Yeah. The only, the only swing thought I want now is that like pulling the grip off the club. Pulling the grip off the club. Because those went, like it feels weird, left. but according to you, it's a great ball flight. Yeah, absolutely. It feels weird, but it goes dead straight. Yeah. There was no draw, there was no cut. 
it was a frozen rope, both of those. I mean, the other one you pulled and you were set up a little bit left at a dress, but it actually went pretty darn straight. And the but, first but I, one was pure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pure. I mean, great divots. Yeah. Nine iron. But yeah, anything else you want to say about a grip? For everyone trolling about the grip. <laughs> no, like I said, I just played a couple holes with this guy and he can hit it really well. He's got a young enough body. His body can keep up with the grip. You see all sorts of strong grips out on the PGA Tour, but they have athletic bodies that can keep up with that. Any junior golfer, I would start with a strong grip. Ladies need strong grips. There's a ton of people that need a strong grip. Yours well, might the, be a little overboard, yeah, this but one's like, a bit I said, overboard. like I said, like I said, a good instructor doesn't change things that are repeatable every single time. And so that's why we don't need to change the grip. We can get a little different feel during your swing. If I was duck hooking every single shot, oh, I would make a grip change. To, we have to immediately change it. But I feel like it's like one or two every round because I get to pull. You know, the pull the grip off the club and just rotate as far left as you possibly can. So is that, a, is that just for strong grips or is that actually a good feel for normal? No, 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 no. You'd never want to feel pull like that if oh, you so have just a for neutral me. grip. Correct. So this is yeah. just for me. So this is All a right. matchup with your grip. See, I like that. I like working with my grip. I needed fixes for my grip. If you have somebody with a neutral grip, they need to throw to square the club face up. If you were to try to throw the club head towards the golf ball, once it again, it's going off. left of left. You have to feel that pull. And if you're struggling with a pull, you move ball position back, ball's always gonna start a little bit further to the right. We could work on adjusting your stance. We could aim your feet a little bit more left. Once again, you'll catch a little bit more ball first because your low point's gonna move forward. And then once again, it's gonna start the ball out to the right. I'm stoked. I'm glad, <laughs> I'm glad you told everyone the strong Absolutely. grip. Absolutely. The strong grip is not a bad thing. Like no. I said, distance wise, it's good. It matches up with your body type. You're young enough, you can swing and you can turn out of the way, which is good. And then once again, just feeling that one little thought. We don't need to have any Appreciate it, guys. This All is right. Jordan, Indian Wells Golf Resort. Strong grips aren't that bad for you. I'm technically kind of fixed with my yeah. miss, which I'm stoked about. But thanks for watching, guys. Go check out Jordan and Indian Wells Golf Resort out in Palm Springs. Thank you for watching. Thanks.